Your boy Greg over here is actually one of my favorite units. As in, as, as just as a new player, I thought he sucked. I didn't know what I was doing or how to use him. But now that I've been playing with Greg, dude is absolutely insane. You like him in your squad in the early game. You like him in the squad in the late game. If you're getting wrecked, you can run around and harvest trees and recover. And I have done that in many matches. So let's talk about Greg real quick. To do that, we go to the squad. I actually just got some extra Gregs. We can evolve him. What does he do? Well, Greg, he fells trees, all right? And let me switch to the other side here. Boom, I'm on the other side. It's like magic. He chops trees for loot. And you chop twice as fast when you get to two stars. So get him to two stars, chop faster. Once you're there, you actually get extra loot at three stars. Now, three stars is gonna take some doing, but even at two stars, Greg is amazing. Again, the value of Greg is, in the early game, you get wicked economy better than actually fighting things in most game modes. The second reason is that when you're fighting, you can just find a tree as you're walking somewhere and get value. This game is all about value over time. You, and that's what my channel is all about. Smash the subscribe button if you like value over time, all right? You use your Greg, you hit a tree, move on, okay? You can fight a monster, hit a tree, fight a monster, hit a tree, or hit a couple trees in a row. And you get so many coins and you get chest after chest after chest after chest. And okay, Greg is taking up space in your squad, but your squad will get strong by virtue of having economy. And one of the best things is there are so many games where I get rolled and then I recover with a Greg. Playing on the outside, get some good engages on some folks, getting into fights again, and then boom, we're good, baby. We're cooking. So let's go queue up some matches and see if we can't force some action with Greg. I'm on a 34 win spree now and let's switch sides. All right, this is a map with trees. How appropriate. No Greg. I'm going to take Colt for fast DPS here. We get this chest. Give me a Greg. No Greg, okay? We're doubling down on Colt. Maybe I can get a fusion. Early fusion is not the worst. And give me a Greg. Greg, let's go! Time to harvest some trees, baby! Okay, so this is the value of a Greg. I'm technically in first, but not really. We all know that that's not the case. I'm just harvesting trees. And from here, Greg again. If I want to play safe, I actually go into someone's starting zone. I really wish I had picked up that bomb. Huge mistake not to have picked up the bomb. I've covered this in another video, so subscribe if you haven't already. But what the bomb can do is you can just hit a carrot patch and get a huge amount of loot out of that. All right, a little bit of a movement issue there. And boom, the best combo is actually a hog rider. And you may be like, wait, why is it a hog rider? Because Greg wants to be in these patches with the trees and the hog rider gets a speed boost coming off of the trees. Oh baby, we are cooking now, Greg Fusion. And I mostly just did that to intimidate the other guy, and I'm gonna maybe get a kill here. This guy is eating up chests, which is actually a problem for me. Finally bust him there. That ate it up like a shocking amount of my time. I feel like I'm actually falling behind. I'm a, I know that might sound weird, but I truly feel like I'm falling behind. I don't want my head on the scoreboard, but it just really doesn't feel like it right now. In terms of my squad's punching power, I just don't think it's there. And we've reached the point where, oh, okay. Imagine walking into the vines for a spell, but then not realizing you already have a spell and can't pick it up. All right, get this B. And now we need to use Greg in the middle for, for that versatile value add, right? No chicken, please. Get another B. And I'm still just building up my squad strength. I'm ranked well, and there's still a minute left. And you can see here, I like dodge that guy, get the trees, now hit that guy when it's convenient for me. I'm bouncing between first and second. Currently in first somehow, don't really know how. Okay, now I'm in second. I'm in first. If I take this kaiju, I'm in a great spot. It's taking me way too long and I'm getting low health. That actually really hurts. Oh, I need more coins. Oh my god. Tragic. I'm in such a precarious spot right now. Oh yeah. All my units are super low. So besides the really poor great gameplay at the end there, not bad. Okay, Greg, everybody. Greg is a freaking goat. Use Greg, get value, smash your enemies. GG easy, okay? Other than <laughs> some skill issues in the middle. Yikes! 
Hey, yo! We opened up this chest, and one other thing I want to do before I show you maybe a couple more games that I played um, is just talk about Greg's overall punching power. 1,300 health is pretty tanky, okay? That is almost as tanky as a Barbarian at 1,400, and only 100 DPS, but like almost as much damage as a Barbarian? Wait, wait, Barbarian? 140, okay. Barbarian's more damage, like 40% more damage, but still pretty good, okay? So... Let's go. I mean, if you're not convinced already, whatever, I'll do the best I can. 35 wins in a row, and that's without using coins to continue the spree, which I have done. And it's a good thing to do if you have the coins um, and you're just pushing progression of your account because, like, extra loot chests is good. But whatever. Here we go. Gem overload? Perfect example! Gem overload is a great time to use a Greg because everything is giving gems. Everything drops gems. So even trees are going to drop gems. But for now, uh... Weird choice. We take Goblin. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Goblin again. We're going to the moon with Goblin. Oh, I'm in trouble. I'm actually hugely in trouble. This guy invaded my starting zone. Whether or not he knows what he's doing, he's done that. This is very dangerous for me. This is also very dangerous for me. I am in a very precarious spot. I shouldn't use my, my bomb like this but I already did. And I'm just gonna stay here for a little bit and get my squad stronger because I can do that. Those guys 100% could have killed me. And now I've created a little bit of a moat around this spot that I'm in. So I'm in 10th, which is not great. <laughs> Needless to say, it ain't good, but it is what it is. And if I could drop that bomb, actually. If I had dropped that bomb better, I would have put it, um, oh, I hit the, I hit the trees. I did the thing. This is really dangerous for me. He should have taken that fight. Like he hundred percent should have killed me there. Do I have a Greg? I don't even have a Greg. We got a goblin start going. I probably could have killed that guy. So a little bit of a misplay there. A little bit of, of like passive gameplay. I'm still playing like I'm an underdog, even though I am actually not anymore. I definitely was initially. And I need I need someone who can go fast, man. Like I, I urgently need speed. Okay, that bomb was pretty legit. That guy could have taken me there, 100%. Honestly, like a huge favor to me there, but he did not. Also, I keep picking up B, but I don't have any Bs yet. So like, that's a thing I should totally remedy. There's still a lot of time in this match, so I'm playing pretty carefully. Wizard, bomb's nice. And I could really use a healer. No dragon chicken, don't need it. There's the heal I needed. Okay, a little dicey the way I did that, not gonna lie. Probably through a little bit, but it is what it is. I did what I did. We're at where we're at and it, did, it worked out fine. I get this heal, get another heal. We're in a great spot. I'm in second place. I don't think I can do better than second place. And I could definitely do worse, which is about to happen. Yep, there it is. I, I'm going to lose. <laughs> and even though I'm making a video and I'm like, oh, I'll just take a fight at the end because it's better for a video. That's bad instincts. I went from second to last of the survivors doing that. I feel like I made, se I actually committed several mistakes in this match. And I didn't even get a Greg. My goal was to Greg, and I didn't. Everybody has a plan until they get punched in the face, am I right? Um, Dragon Chicken plus a Greg is actually sick. You've never seen someone har harvest so fast. There it is. Let's do it. Let's show you the power. I am going to show you the power of the Greg. This is my time to shine. It's happening. I don't... Dude... Get it under control, chicken. Holy smokes. This chicken's all freaking over the place. Goblin? More economy? Greg's and goblins? This guy's gone mad. Dynamite? Probably should have took the healer instead, honestly. Uh, barbarian? There's the healer. We just take it. Bomb. Huge, huge bomb. Unreal. What a spot. This guy's in trouble. He's got nowhere to go. Oh my god, he's got so much health. 
busted. That took way too long. Honestly, that was a waste of my time. Like, uh, it took too long, man. IMO. I got, dude, I have trees to do here, you know? Like, ain't nobody got time for that when you got trees to harvest. Ooh, now we're really fast. Uh, okay. Need more trees. Like, at this point, I think I should go to the middle. Like, I'm actually the okay, hold on. I'm actually playing so optimally by not going to the middle. But you can see how I am maintaining first place, and I'm just playing the outside. Like, I'm, I'm actually just not even in the middle. And I'm in first. I'm not in first by, like, a little. I'm kind of in first by a lot here. And these guys in the middle are kind of not going to know what hit them when I show up with the tank and... Take out the squad, maybe? Medic would be a good idea. I think I have a goblin fusion waiting for me, so I probably should do that. I see that guy to the north, to like to the north of me. Probably okay. Literally, imagine it was free to escape and you walk back into it. I mean, I've done it. Everybody does it, but poor banana slug. Wow. GG, Monsieur Slug. All your gems are belong to me. And there you have it, everybody. I forced Greg. And it, and it worked out. Would you say that worked out? I feel like that worked out just fine. Dude, I'm getting Royale Kings. I'm not even picking up. Oh, yeah, right. I couldn't pick it up because I, I couldn't pick up my Royale King goodies. Dude, I'm even going to cut down this tree while I'm here. Just because I'm here. I can do it. And, like, I have the choice of, like, which squad do I want to bust here. Oh, my gosh. I'm in second. <gasps> Should have... Not been so cocky. But whatever, second place is outstanding. A second sooner and I might've got that. Whatever, what a great Greg game, okay? What a great Greg game. Wow, that's actually kind of hard to say. <laughs> GG, everybody. Well played, everyone. Um, I'm a fan of Greg, okay? You can recover, you get a rush in the early game, and even with a mega minion to start, Greg for the win. If you enjoyed the vid, throw a like on here, subscribe to the channel. Greg is the freaking goat. And uh, until next time, you have fun smashing your enemies. Good luck.